Hi, my name's Phil Bowman. My family's been beekeeping on North Strabrack Island for the last 39 years. I've been working with the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries, also the University of the Sunshine Coast, to help them develop a trap, an attractant trap, to catch a small hive beetle before they get into your beehives. First off, we're going to use a fly trap, which is available at many outlets. Best thing about these, you can use them again and again and again. First thing we go in is one teaspoon of yeast. Second we go ingredient is two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Third thing we go in, our lovely honey. And then we put 250 mils of water. Now you beekeepers at home might not want to pay the expense of the fly trap. So you can probably make your own out of a, a PET bottle, soft drink. Next thing we do is mix well. Now the fermentation process will start. We'll get bubbling occurring, which is going to let off an odour, which attracts a small hive beetle. And once we get this all mixed together, which doesn't take very long as you can see, we hang that up in the tree and she should be right to go. We recommend to hang the traps and the trees at least a metre off the ground, in the shade if possible. It is best to hang them between 20 and 80 metres from your hive. They will even work at 100 metres from the hives. Right, <clears throat> well we've got a trap here that's been out for a couple of days, we're just going to find out what's in there. I like to give it a bit of a stir to get the sediment off the bottom. Just check inside the lid, it's clean. Most of the insects that get into this will drown. But I always like to check it. There we go, we've got two live ones. One live one, no live ones. We've got a wasp, we've got a few flies, quite a few small hive beetle in there. Yeah, seems to work reasonably well. The traps I use as part of my integrated pest management, um, anything that takes beetles out of the environment, keeps them out of your beehives, it's got to be a plus.